Hey everyone! If you came looking for a Halloween video, I'm sorry it's not happening today. However, it will be happening for multiple days next week. If you're new to my channel, October is kind of my YouTube anniversary, so to speak. At least when I started actually like seriously posting like DIY videos every week. Since my first video was a Halloween themed video or like a costume themed video, I decided that in October I should do a Halloween week, aka Halloween. So the five weekdays before Halloween, I post a Halloween themed DIY video every single day. So yeah, I'll leave a link to my previous ones up here. That starts on the 24th, which is next Wednesday. So yeah, I'm super excited. I love doing Halloween for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I make this year. But anyway, today I'm going to be doing a video where it's kind of a DIY, but also like testing a product out. While I was cleaning up my craft area recently, I went through a box that just had a bunch of random crap in it that I had been avoiding, and I found this porcelain marker. I have used one of these before. Basically, they're made so that you can draw on like a ceramic mug or a ceramic piece, whatever, and then you bake it in the oven, which is pretty interesting and supposedly it bakes that design on. And supposedly it's dishwasher safe, which I don't know if you can see a really teeny tiny print right here. It says dishwasher resistant. So I thought that today we could try to test it out. I've had it for a long time, so hopefully it still works. So let's get started. Hey guys, editing Rachel here. I just wanted to add this onto this video. Obviously I recorded this before this happened, but on Saturday, we hit 100,000 subscribers, yay! Like I mentioned in my art video earlier this week, this is kind of a cliche thing to say, but I don't know, when I started this channel, I never really thought that I would hit 100K. Um, that's pretty crazy to me, that's so awesome. I'm really glad that you guys are here and that you enjoy the videos I put out. I love seeing the projects that you guys make and hearing about, you know, how much my tutorials and stuff have helped you guys. So yeah, I'm very busy for the rest of the month with Halloween stuff um, that's coming up soon. So I can't really celebrate 100K with you guys fully yet. But next month, I'm hoping to do a like, I don't know, some kind of live stream or something. I haven't fully decided on what I'm gonna do yet. I'm thinking about doing like a drink and draw or like a draw along or like a craft along or something, but We'll see what I can figure out. <laughs> After the craziness of October ends and I can kind of collect myself a little bit and figure out what to do, I will make an announcement video and let you guys know what I decided to do for the live stream and when it will be and yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for 100,000 subs and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So I'm going to be using this porcelain pen on this white mug. I'll have an affiliate link down below to where you can get some of these pens. They come in a variety of colors, but I happen to have this black one on hand already. So for this design, I wanted to do something with a black cat, but also something that would cover the whole mug. I decided to do a bunch of black cats floating in space. I thought it was a cute idea, and I was inspired by Furry Little Peach with this design. If you don't know who that is, definitely go check her out. I'll link her YouTube down below. She's an awesome designer and artist. Her stuff is very inspiring. I cleaned the mug and then prepped the pen for drawing. The instructions are on the pen, but you basically just have to shake it a bunch and then press the tip to get the ink flowing, similar to other paint markers. And, um, I think I ended up breaking it. The tip is weird and wobbly now, and it comes right out with no resistance. And it doesn't really draw as well as I remember. It doesn't really seem like any ink is flowing through the tip anymore. I wonder if it's because, like, I have used this pen before, like, a long time ago. So I wonder if the ink dried up in the nib or something like that, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, it wasn't working. But the ink still flowed pretty nicely, like it was still pretty liquidy, so 
I just went to a plan B and I used a paintbrush to paint the design on. I basically just kind of dipped the brush into the end of the marker. It's not ideal, but it's what I had to do and it worked, so why not? Um, I guess it's kind of good to know that that's a possibility if the same thing happens to you guys. So you probably want to avoid touching the areas that you're going to draw on. I'm assuming that the oils from your skin mess with how the ink adheres to the glaze of the mug. I wasn't really careful about this. As you'll see, I'm just kind of touching it all over the place. And there are definitely some spots that got a little bit iffy after the dishwasher, but we'll get to that when we get there. So I ended up doing multiple coats over a lot of this, like the cats. Obviously I wanted them to be as black as possible, so I painted multiple coats. And I think that I had a little bit of an issue with the marker getting like dry crumbly bits of ink around the tip as I painted that ended up getting onto the brush that ended up getting onto the mug. You can see it mostly in the cats. I guess since they're just like the biggest blocks of ink, so it would be most noticeable there. And they ended up having kind of a bumpy texture to them. I wasn't quite sure how to make that go away. Part of me was low-key hoping that it would go away after baking, but I knew in the back of my head that that wasn't gonna happen. It's probably something I needed to address before the ink fully dried, but oh well. I mean, in a perfect world, this pen tip wouldn't have broken and I would have been using the marker as intended, which presumably would have worked better and not left ink chunks all over. But yeah, maybe in a future video I can try this again with a newer pen that isn't broken. <laughs> Man, I really hated how this particular cat turned out. It's just a lot bigger than the other ones and I don't know, I feel like it just kind of looks out of place. I kind of wish that I had tested out how to clean this ink stuff off if you haven't baked it yet so that I could like redo this cat. I'm still kind of considering scraping it off of the finished mug if I'm able to and then redrawing another one. <laughs> so here's the finished mug with the designs that I did. I try to cover most of the mug, so if any ink comes off or something, we'll easily be able to tell. Also, you can see here how the ink looks bumpy and chunky and whatnot wherever I did the big blocks of ink, i.e. the cats. This side is my favorite side of the mug by far. Then you have to be patient and let it fully dry or cure or whatever for 24 hours. When you're ready, preheat your oven to 300 degrees, unless the instructions on your pen say something different. And then stick it in and let it bake for 35 minutes. When it's done, just turn off the oven and let it cool in there. So here it is, all baked. As you can see, the bumpy texture didn't go away, but the ink definitely feels like it's not going to rub off. So let's go hand wash this thing to see how it fares. First, I use the soft side of a dish sponge. This is probably the way that I'm going to continue to clean this thing. Unsurprisingly, the ink stayed on very well. Now to test it with the scrubber side. I can't imagine a reason why you would use this scrubber side of the sponge to clean the outside of a mug, but just in case, here we go. So I scrubbed pretty hard and for the most part, especially with the big cat design, it was fine, but it did start to scrape off some of the small stars that I had dotted around. So yeah, if you're going to use the scrubber side, just be careful. But overall, the ink stayed on. And yeah. Like I said, personally, I would only use the soft side of the sponge. But that's not all. The pen claims that the ink is dishwasher proof after it's baked on, so of course, I had to try it out. So into the dishwasher it goes. And here it is afterwards. So I can't really tell if it's missing any more of the design, but I can tell that it warped some of the design. Here are some of the spots where it seems like the ink kind of lifted off and then got stuck back on in a different configuration. Everything is still stuck on, like it still feels like right after I baked it. So I wonder if like the dishwasher kind of like lifted spots up and then stuck it back 
and then since the dishwasher is hot like it kind of like stuck it back into that spot i don't know so it didn't affect too much of the mug but i think that the areas that it did affect were maybe spots that i had touched a lot and i got like my oils on it so it, that the ink couldn't like fully adhere correctly but yeah i'm not sure all i know is that personally i would probably continue to just hand wash this so yeah that's the mug overall i really like this pen um, I think that you can make some really easy custom mugs with this thing and make some pretty cool gifts. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. You can follow me on all of my social media, which will be linked down below. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you are interested in becoming a patron or learning about what Patreon is, I'll leave a link to mine right up here and you can go check it out. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you next week on Wednesday, a day early for Halloween.